Hello Stampers! I'm taking the Greatest Journeys bundle, that's stamp set and dies, for a little um, trip today. And I created this adventure scene. Well, are you ready to get going? Let's go! So we're going to start by die cutting a couple things, just to put them to the side. And the Greatest Journey stamp set, here it is, I'll show it to you. It's very pretty. It's got some great sentiments. The one I'm using today is You Belong Among the Stars. So I wanted to make sure I got the moon and the stars in the scene. We're going to be using this stamp set along with the coordinating dies. This die set is awesome. It has uh, lots of dies that cut out the stamps. Plus it has like clouds. It's got this guy running, a hiker, a biker. Um, tents, you know, about anything that you need for an outdoor scene. So we're going to use this piece here and we're going to die cut our little um, hill for our little hiker to be standing on. And so I'm die cut that out of Starry Sky cardstock. And all the dimensions for the pieces are down below this video along with all the products that I'm using. So um, I die cut this out of Starry Sky and this piece is one and three quarters by four. And then I just die cut this across the top. So there's that piece and we're gonna set it aside. And next I die cut our little hiker out. It's this one here. You can either use the lantern, it's holding a lantern, and then there's also a, like a walking stick here. So you can use that also. Um, I decided to do the lantern. And I cut die cut it out of basic black. Both of these were cut out using the Stampin' Cut and a Boss Machine. And then I, I wanted to light the lantern up. So I cut a little 1 4th by 1 4th square of So Saffron. And that fits right behind that little light. So I'm going to go ahead and glue that on. And that's what I used out of the die set. So I'm just going to put a little glue on the back of the lantern. You don't need much. We're just holding that little piece on. So I'll just flip it over to the back. find you've got too much on, it's best to wipe it off before you stick it on your card. So, I'm just going to adhere this on. There we go, and then we have our little lantern all lit up. So we're going to set that aside. And next we're going to work on our moon. We want that big crescent moon, right? So I have just a scrap piece of basic white here. And I didn't have a circle die big enough to make this moon. So I went to my kitchen, grabbed a can of tuna. <laughs> this, is, this can is almost, almost three and a half inches across. And that's what I'm going to use to create our crescent moon. I'm sure about any can will work. So I'm just going to draw around this on my white cardstock here. And you don't have to worry about um, this showing because we're going to flip it over after we cut it out. So we have our circle here and then I'm going to move the, my can over and I'm going to draw around it again. And you'll actually get two crescents out of this because we're going to cut this out. I'm going to cut it in half so it makes it easier. There we go. And there's our crescent moon. 
and I'm just going to use my paper snips and cut along the line. Get this all cut out. And it's best to make long strokes with your scissors. And move the cardstock as opposed to making short strokes and then your it, your moon won't be all choppy looking around the edges. So there is my crescent moon. And I'll just save this other one for another card. So with this crescent moon, I wanted some color on it. I just didn't want it to be just white. So I grabbed some So Saffron. And a blending brush. And I'm just going to blend on the inside of the moon. I'm going to try to leave a little white around the edge here. So on the inside I want the color. On the outside I'm trying not to get any color. That gives it more of a glowing effect as opposed to just all solid color. So there is my crescent moon. I'm going to put that aside. So we're just moving right along here. So next I'm going to get my main panel out. And this is our whole sky panel. This is four by four and a half. And I'm going to start and I'm going to do a little direct to paper here. And I'm going to start with my lightest color first, which is Mango Melody. And I'm just going to use this short edge, and I just want some streaks on in the sky. So I'm just adding some. Um, you don't have to go all the way to the top because this is going to be dark. But this is, this down here is all of our light area. So I had some streaks there. And again, that was Mango Melody. And next I'm going to go in with a little Cajun Craze. I'm going to do that same thing. I'm going to add some marks. And I try not to um, add as many of these darker colored stripes as I did the yellow. So Cajun Craze. Next I want a little pink in that sky. Pink is always great for like sunsets. So I'm going to do that same thing. Add some pink in. There we go. So Mango Melody. And next I'm going to bring in Starry Sky. And with this I'm going to add some stripes. Okay, but then I'm going to go ahead and use a blending brush too, up here at the top. I want lots of some dark sky up here. And the darker you get the better because this is um, where your, your stars are going to show up. So I'm really putting it on pretty dark. So that was Starry Sky. You're probably wondering why I put the streaks in there first. Well, you can see some of the streaks up here at the top, which is what I wanted. Okay, so there is our background. This scene comes together really fast. So um, I'm going to let that dry for a minute and we're going to pull out our little um, rock formation here. <laughs> I, I had a, a, a brain fart, <laughs> I'm going to call it, when I created this card. I didn't realize that there was that dye to cut this rock formation out. So I tore my rock formation out of cardstock and then I when I went to cut this I'm like I seen that piece and I'm like oh that's when you, one of those moments where you hit your forehead 
So that's what I did. And um, so this one I'm using the die and that one I ripped the, the cardstock on. So I'm going to take a black ink. So I'm using Memento Tuxedo Black. I just want to get some darkness up here at the top of the rock. And it kind of blends in with that um, silhouette that we're getting ready to put on of the hiker. So the top of the little rock formation is going to be black and the bottom is staying that starry sky. There is that. Okay. So I'm going to set that back aside and then I'm going to stamp some stars up here in the sky. Now I have my Whisper White ink here and it's all inked up really well. And there's this little stars and dots stamp in the set and I'm going to stamp it, stamp it again. That way some of them are, are lighter than others. And I only want these up here in the darkest parts. Maybe a little more right there. There we go. There is our stars in the sky, all done with Whisper White. So look at that, we got our sky all done. And the next thing I want to do is I need to figure out where, exactly where to put my crescent moon. So I'm going to kind of lay things on here to see how they all go together. I know this I want at the bottom of my cardstock. And I want that crescent moon to be back behind there and the point to come up on the back side of this hill here. So I'm just going to kind of figure out where I want this and I think that's good. And So I'm just going to take a, a fine tip marker and I just want to make a little dot under the tip of that. Get my marker going here. Under the tip of the moon on that side and under the tip of the moon here. That way I know where to put it. So I'm just going to add some glue here. Now I'm using multi-purpose glue, but you use whatever glue you would like. And then I have to, I'm just going to cover those dots up. And then I know that that's where I want my moon at. So there is that. I'm going to go ahead and add my ground area here. This is a great scene, but it comes together so fast. I have to laugh. I've got <laughs> ink all over me. <laughs> you always know what colors I've been working on when I get done. Uh, crafting because boy I get stuff all over me okay then we got our little hiker here I want to put on and I have I see that I have a little bit of that lantern so saffron sticking out and you can just trim it around it get rid of that There we go. And then I'm going to just stand her, him or her right up here on this rock. And looky there. There is your scene all done. So now I'm going to um, I want to stamp the inside of my card. So I have a piece of So Saffron here. It's 4 by 5.25. Then I'm going to put my sentiment in there. Well, that says um, you belong among the stars, and I think that uh, 
scene works really well for that sentiment. And there's a few in here that um, this would work well for. Like wishing you joy in this next adventure. Um, you so inspired. I'm so inspired by your courage. This moment is the start of something great. So nice, nice sentiments to go with these um, adventure scenes. So I'm going to stamp this in Starry Sky on the inside. And I like to stamp before I stick because if you um, mess up and it's crooked or something or it doesn't stamp well, you've got another shot at it. You can flip your cardstock over. But I think that turned out pretty good. I've taken, um, in my early days, had taken many a card apart that I stuck the inside and then I stamped and next thing you know, you end up taking your card apart because you stamped it incorrectly. So I'm just going to layer this up inside my Starry Sky card base. This is five and a half by eight and a half folded in half. So there's the inside. And then for the outside, I'm going to add, I know, we covet this gold foil paper. And I, I find that I have years worth stored away. And it's kind of crazy that we get this great card stock. We can't wait to get it. We get it, we stick it in a closet or in a drawer, and we're afraid to use it. So I'm using it today. I have a four and a quarter by five and a half. So this fits the entire front of this card. Okay, so uh, I don't like to use glue for this, so I'm going to get out my stamp and seal and I'm going to put that down each side talk about stick this stuff really sticks Now I find it easier to stand my card up when I go to put this on because I don't want to tear my card by putting it on and having to take it back off. So there it is. There's the front of it. And next I want to add just a strip of Starry Sky. Now this has been embossed. I embossed it with the Fern 3D embossing folder um, using my Stampin' Cut and Emboss Machine. And I want to bring those fern leaves out some, so I'm just going to take my Memento Tuxedo Black and I'm going to lightly go over this just to bring out that design a little more. I thought that was kind of an outdoorsy type embossing folder. So I'm going to add this on and I'm going to have it um, not up against this edge. I have it in oh, almost a half an inch. So I forgot and I want to put a couple strips of this Stampin' Plus on here, along with my glue, and that'll help hold it on that metallic paper a little better. And if you're short on your little strip, I would say put the shortness towards the bottom. That's what I do with any of these panels that I put on. If I want it to meet come flush with that and I'm off on this piece here I will just cut that little bit off the bottom of my card okay and by the magic of video I have that all flush now because I just cut that little bit off that didn't match up and then I'm going to add my main panel here 
and I'm going to go ahead and put Stampin' Dimensionals on the back of this. Pop it up. And that is just added interest. If you um, want to glue it directly down, you can. All right, and this I'm going to have flush with the right side of the card. There we go. And look at that, we're all done. Isn't that, doesn't that turn out nice? That moon is just striking. Here's my original. I got a little more of um, that pink and orange in the sky here. Here I've left it a little lighter. Everyone's going to turn out different. Thanks for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed this card and that you give it a try. I'm going to go wash my hands and get on the sink off. Take care. Bye.